Another pedestrian has died. This is after being hit by a car near the Galleria. Now, this one happened on Westheimer and Sage. Fox 26's Jonathan Mejia is there live, and he spoke with witnesses and Houstonians who frequent that area with what they would like to see changed. This part of the Galleria is known to be very busy, even at this hour, you can just see and hear how busy traffic is, not only with the cars, but also the pedestrians. Now, this was the scene of where a 45-year-old man was hit and struck. He left the scene in critical condition, but later died at the hospital. Go ahead and take a look. You can still see the police tape on that intersection where this crash happened. Again, I spoke with pedestrians, and they tell me they are on high alert when they're walking in this area. You got to be really careful coming down here. Um, I try and run off the main road into the suburb side because of that. Houston police are investigating a pedestrian crash that turned into a fatality. Police say the impact caused the pedestrian to be thrown into a second vehicle. Pedestrians tell me reckless drivers make it a dangerous area. It can be because they do go very fast and a lot of the time I think the drivers here don't respect pedestrians. When officers arrived, witnesses at the scene were performing CPR on the man who was hit. The man was taken to the hospital in critical condition but later died at the hospital. I saw the shoe and a lot of police. You really have to watch yourself when you're, when you're crossing here because a lot of people in a hurry, a lot of people run the lights. Investigators say the driver initially left the scene but then returned and cooperated with the police. After briefly being detained, the driver was released. I'm not surprised, actually. Yeah. It is quite a dangerous intersection. I saw the driver and the passenger that was a part of that car that uh, apparently killed and struck that man. Now, they were being detained by police and being brought into question. Now, they were visibly distraught. You know, after they were released by the police, we asked to speak with them, but they did not want to talk on camera. They just said that they were just shocked by the entire situation. We're putting live from Southwest Houston, Jonathan Mejia, Fox 26 News.